Good morning everybody and welcome once again to my humble abode. Today what I'd like to do is to talk about enchanting and also disenchanting. So well, let's start from the beginning. What I've got here in my slot here, I've got a bow of wyvern. I'm not sure how it's pronounced exactly. And this is quite a neat bow. It's got two different modes. So the first mode is this one, rapid fire. And the other mode, if I right click it, I think I have to so shift it. Yes, shift right click the sharpshooter mode. With the sharpshooter mode, you can zoom in on things and see there. So, for example, if you actually look at that, what I did, let me get that flower, try again, sort of magnifies it. It's quite a neat bow, quite useful for certain things, but it's also got a lot of enchantings on it. And one of the enchantments it's got on is, let's have a look at it first of all. It's got Infinity 1, Power 4, Flame 1. Well, the flame's obvious as to what that was doing. The power increases it, but what I'd like to do is to increase the power to Power 5. And I've got Infinity 1. And if, so, it doesn't really tell you very much. Infusing a draconium with a mundane bow, unless you shoot faster with more power. Infinity one basically means I've got one arrow, but I can shoot it as many times as I want. That's what the infinity. I've got infinity arrows, which is rather good too. In fact, I'll show you that in a minute. So let's go to enchanting. No, not that stand. Upstairs. Right here we have. This is sort of a magicy room. This one. Um, and in this chest, here's my automation for some enchanting. So here I've got uh, lots of books. In fact, I haven't actually, they're not even full. The reason they're not full is because I run out of essence XP. So here we've got all sorts of ones. So let's find a power, some power ones. That's power four. And if I take a power four, I think it'll work actually. Let's go and get some XP first of all. I need at least um, 30 just to make sure. Oops, I can't do that. that I have to use an empty hand to get the XP. Simply right click it and look at it. On these open blocks, tanks, and we'll get the lots of XP. So here we have the enchanting table, which we don't want. What we want is the anvil. So with the anvil, if I put the bow in here and put this power 4 implosion I now get a power 5 bow and the implosion was disappeared but that doesn't matter I don't even know what it's for to be honest with you there's so many and um, enhan enhancements enchantments there's quite a lot and here I've got quite a lot of goodies from all sorts of mobs of course at the back I've got this cursed earth and what I did is I put this sound muffler at the back so that it makes them a little bit less annoying because <laughs> they make a lot of noise and in here you can see I've got some a leather cap with unbreaking what else have I got here I've got some chain leggings with fire protection thorns unbreaking so that's quite useful enhancements to have so let's take those let's take this helmet as well because the chainmail just looks quite good. Not very protective, but looks pretty good. So we'll first of all go and repair these. So I think in my auto anvil here, I have, should have some. As I just stand on that, it'll take the XP off me. It's got plenty of iron in here. And it's this, oops, wrong one. It's the anvil here. So if I put the helmet and the iron, does that work? Or have I got it the wrong way around? I think it's actually the wrong way around. Nope. That should repair actually. And maybe the best thing to do is disenchant it first of all. So let's get a book. Two. Oh, that's stacks isn't it I forget so here we have the disenchant oh, I've got plenty of books in there already let's put those two in there so 
Ah, it was the leggings I wanted to repair, wasn't it? Ah, being daft. Oh no, this one here. I'm breaking. Let's put it in here. Cost is zero. Damage is eight percent. Take it out, and now I have an unbreaking book. And again, I can do it again, I believe. Oh no, it's finished. Put it back again. It's got protection one and prote projectile protection two. But it's not letting me take it on. Maybe it needs to be repaired. So I was going to do the uh, this one, wasn't I? If you repair, is that going to work? Should simply. Oh, it's not auto oh, to drink. I know what I've done. What I forgot to do, oh, I'll turn this off, press O to turn that off. I'll set an auto drink from the front here. So now it's taking the XP out. What I also want to do is I want to take the extract and I want to extract from the side. There you go, you hear it go now. So what I want to do is try that again because I moved it and it lost the settings. Auto eject this side here so I should find these fire protection ligands in this chest and I reckon that I need to go get some leather to repair the helmet Let's, I don't need to do that now do I so here we are if you wanted to transfer this this protection here for example onto this chain helmet I'll put it in here now it doesn't work does it wrong one cost is two and it's not working Oh, cost zero, cost two. Oh, that means it costs two XP. Take a bit more. And unlike the enchanter, it, it actually stays there. So here we have two. Now it's right. So now I've got a book with fire protection. And this time I've got thorns, cost zero. I'm breaking. All right, now I've just got plain leggings. This one. Ah. All right, now an enchanted. So these are now an enchanted. So if I want to put those on something stronger like a diamond helmet, I could do. But also, I can do this. Let's go and put these weapons back into here. I wrong one armor up one, don't I? Armor's in this chest here. So if I put, wanted something stronger like diamond leggings or whatever, I could enchant these exactly in the same way as I've disenchanted these books. So let's have a look. Unbreaking one. So, with unbreaking, I think there was two unbreaking ones, weren't there? So we go to the anvil, I think. So I've got projectile protection two and breaking one and breaking one so I put that in there and that in there and take that cost is two I now have an unbreaking two and you can repeat this process until you get to the maximum whatever the maximum is so I've got fire protection one thorns one so this hurts the wear that hurt the wearer by two hearts okay this is rather interesting one applies to all armor types so, really, that's that. Well, let's go and have a quick uh, visit outside and find some mobs to see if we can test the bow. What's nice about these wings is, even though I died a couple of times making them because of the unstable ingots, is you don't drop when you fly. Because it's daytime, so that's going to be difficult to find mobs. Uh, some things here. Okay, must be underground. What have I got with me? Oh, let's take this. Oh, I've also got some angel blocks. I haven't explained those yet. 
they're quite useful try again an angel block that basically lets you place it anywhere so here we are over there right click and then I've got this base from that base of course then you can stick other other blocks so what else have we got here nothing use oh yes a diamond chest for example So it just treats it like a normal a normal block, but in, you can save it in water, above water, wherever you want to. But places that wouldn't normally be able to put a block. So let's take it up again. Pickaxe, yes. I did it sort of looks as though it disappeared, but it didn't. I got the two. Okay, there we go. What do we have over there? Ah, squid. Uh, it's coming to night time now, so we should be able to find a few more mobs, especially around here. Because here was a meteor for that I think I dug up this meteor. Oh, maybe I didn't actually. And the best way to best way to deal with meteors, by the way, is with the um, mining torch, mining laser. The mining laser simply just treats the blocks like single blocks and just gives them a white, uh, hits them quite hard, so do we see any mobs around? Some over here, probably underground still and what I should also do is to put the jet pack on because when I press uh, shift, oh here we are there's a nice village down here with a nice lava pool outside it and there is a spider so right click on the spider Ooh. ah creeper it's a bit freaky actually when you do that I wasn't, I tried this last time on the hydra but look at him in fact it's pretty good, it seems to be one kill type One shot killing. Oh, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed that. That was it for today. Until next time, bye for now.